everyone. It's almost Christmas. I know you're excited about it. Well, one of my favorite stories ever comes from this book here. It's called The Glory of Christmas, and the author is Max Lucado. I'd like to take a minute just to read you a couple paragraphs about it. It starts out saying, there's one word that describes the night Jesus came, ordinary. The sky was ordinary. An occasional gust stirred the leaves and chilled the air. The stars were diamonds sparkling on black velvet. Fleets of clouds floated in front of the moon. It was a beautiful night, a night worth peeking out your bedroom window to admire, but not really an unusual one. No reason to expect a surprise, nothing to keep a person awake, an ordinary night with an ordinary sky. The sheep, they were ordinary. Some were fat, some were scrawny, some with barrel bellies, and some with twig legs. Common animals, no fleece made of gold, no blue ribbon winners. And the shepherds, they were peasants, probably wearing all the clothes they owned, smelling like sheep and looking just as woolly. They were conscientious, willing to spend the night with their flocks. An ordinary night with ordinary sheep and ordinary shepherds. And were it not for a God who loves to hook an extra on the front of the ordinary, the night would have gone unnoticed. The sheep would have been forgotten and the shepherds would have slept the night away. But God dances amidst the common and that night he did a waltz. The black sky exploded with brightness. Trees that had been shadows jumped into clarity. Sheep that had been silent became a chorus of curiosity. One minute the shepherd was dead asleep the next, he was rubbing his eyes and staring into the face of a baby. The night was ordinary no more. The angel came in the night because that is when lights are best seen, and that is when they are most needed. God comes into the common for the same reason. His most powerful tools are the simplest. Well, on that ordinary night over 2,000 years ago on Christmas Eve, God did something extraordinary. You may feel sometimes that you're just an ordinary kid, but God made you and God made you into something extraordinary. With God's help, you can accomplish extraordinary things. Just like what happened many, many years ago on that Christmas Eve night, an extraordinary thing happened out of the ordinary. Would you pray with me? Dear God, please remind us that we're just not ordinary kids. You made us and you believe we're extraordinary and you believe we can do extraordinary things in your name. Please help us to do so. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Merry Christmas, everyone.